There's music now on the start screens. Woohoo! Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Let's play by me, Martin. Going to do something now in point one seven point one that I've been waiting a while to do. And I know people have mentioned it as well. I haven't forgotten. One of my very first, I guess it was my second, uh, 0.17 mission that I ended up doing, and very, very early on in my videos, was uh, orbiting, well, getting to the EVE system. Was it EVE? No. Yeah, EVE. And then uh, orbiting Gilly and attempting to land, and then that's where I had some issues. So now that 0.17.1 is out, we can actually finally land on Gilly. And let's see. I was trying to remember, oh, this ship. It's a very earlier design. <laughs> oh, it's got so much fuel, though. So that's awesome. I did a really good job on this one. But it is also just a one-man pod. So. Uh, yeah, so let's just do... I've forgotten everything about this ship. It looks pretty awesome still, though. It's got the Separatron motors, too. Two parachutes. Don't really need two, but... I probably want to come down on the light side, so I will wait. I forgot how slow the speeds were. Oh, this could be a bit of a wait. No, it's not going to be that bad. <clears throat> Let's aim for in this valley here. So still retrograde. It's going to be silly amounts of thrust to do this. Uh, that's good enough, and then I'll just <laughs> bring it vertical when we get closer. Okay, that's probably... Wait, which which one was I aiming for? <laughs> oh, we're still not that, there yet. Okay, so kind of over the next... Okay, we're below a particular altitude. It's saying... No more. No more zooming for you. Uh, so yeah, I kind of want to, I guess, just do it down there. Like a physical time warp, of course. And I shall. Just kill that. That's Don't need either of those. Yeah, I thought I could make it in there, but now I'm Let's see, three point some kilometers. So everything is so slow at twenty meters a second. And it doesn't really matter where I come down, but I'm just trying to make it somewhat interesting. Find a somewhat interesting of a spot. Okay, uh, let's say that's good enough, and then we'll just manually kill our horizontal velocity off. How was that, I wonder? Not too bad. Alright, that's probably close enough. 
Now I've got to wait though. <laughs> so I'll fast forward. Okay, this is where I forgot that, yeah, that you can't really trust this so much. So just kind of even this out here like this. There, now let's see. So I feel like it looks like we're moving slightly this way. Okay. No. I forgot we have RCS too. Crazy. Probably could have just. Oh, we're almost out of RCS fuel though. I wonder if they in 0.17. No, didn't uh, put those values in. Okay, let me just. Uh, so we got. Maybe. Going a little bit this way now. That looks about right. That looks better. It's, it's hard to see. Very, very subtle, I think. But I think that's kind of killed off the horizontal velocity. Gear down. 500 meters to go. <laughs> no more good view in here. Well, we're definitely rapidly dropping though. 400 meters. <coughs> well, 10, 11 meters a second. It's not rapidly dropping, but okay. Let's not mess this up. There's the shadow. Excellent. It's much higher now uh, that it shows the shadow. So that's really, really good. Got a little bit of horizontal velocity going this way. Oh, then the shadow just disappeared for some reason. Hmm. Oh, there it is again. Yeah, I guess when I do that I should be doing it almost full horizontal. Almost too much maybe, but... If you look at my speeds, they're very, very low now, for sure. I think we could probably stick this landing even with a little bit of horizontal velocity. Well, there we, I think we, that got it. Just kind of get it fairly on there and we are 18 meters, 13, 10, 8 meters. I'm just going to let it coast in now. <laughs> the uh, torque from the pod almost has enough power to keep it vertical. There we are. Successfully. Uh-oh. Don't, don't don't keep going. All right, which way do I need to pitch here? Uh hold on, let me just get this back. Pitch up. There we are. Yeah, that probably would have kept on going, it looks like. Okay. 
Can we just kind of get hold of that? <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Now, how did I design this? Whoops. Me. For ladders. Okay, look what I did here. This has been so long since I've done this. Did I have this planned this way? All no, I mean, I mustn't have. But I must have planned to land this. I don't even remember if I'd planned to come to Gilly or not. If that was the ultimate goal, but... Uh... There may be some issues <laughs> anyway here. How do we uh, tw twirl and twist around? Hmm. Well, I think... Okay. Doesn't matter. I should be able to jump back up. Hmm. Whoops. Don't know what that was. <laughs> Graceful dismount. Okay, quit beeping, computer. A graceful dismount. By Bob Frid. <laughs> it was, too. He stuck the landing. Okay, that's awesome. Now I'm probably going to fast forward this, just keep an eye on the time, but I am going to do a jump here and see how high we go on the jump and just how long it takes. But I won't make you sit through it. Or maybe I'll make you sit through part of it and I can talk about... Yeah, let's... I'm going to talk about 0.18 because there's been so much stuff talked about on the forums and on uh, on Reddit and Nova Salisco is posting glorious pictures on there. And and yeah, it's very very exciting. The docking stuff, you know, of course, is is my most anticipated feature, as I've probably talked about for some time. And uh, I've got plans, exciting exciting plans. Uh, obviously, lots of refueling. Uh, well, yeah, refueling is part of the docking too, as you can transfer resources, I believe, from one section of the ship to another, maybe while it's docked and then undock. Anyway, uh, I'll probably start off with. You know, let's I'll start off easy and try to do maybe a you know recreate the Apollo lunar lander uh, idea because you know the the idea being you know why the way we've been doing it all the way up until now up to and including now is when you land you have to land with all the fuel that you need to not only land and get back into orbit but then get back all the way to your home planet whereas the Apollo program of course. Uh, separated in the orbit of the moon, uh, and just the lunar lander goes down, leaving the command module in orbit. And the lunar lander only has enough fuel to land on the moon and get back into orbit. So that that's you know huge savings. Looks like we're almost at the top here. Uh, huge savings in amounts of fuel because yeah, uh, you know everything that you have to take up with you. You need to burn more fuel to take up that extra fuel. So, uh, so anyway, I'll try something similar to that and just see, you know, how excellent and cool that that can be. Um, and then my, another idea, of course, uh, is I want to get back to Minmus and continue my my big uh, my base set up there. We are 3709. I guess was that the top? Let's say 3709, and then we'll see what I was when I got down to. When I land, no, oh, no, that's 100. <laughs> that, that's how you can tell right there. It was about 160 some meters. So that was awesome. Uh, yeah, and so I've got multiple ideas. I do want kind of a low carbon orbit um, space station that can be used for refueling interplanetary ships. And I've got some ideas in my head of what that will look like. <coughs> and uh, so that's one idea. And then I guess you know just having Maybe even refueling stations in low other planetary orbits too could be quite handy. Like I had my idea when I was landing, trying to land that space plane on Gilly, on Gilly, on uh, Leif, um, to leave some of the fuel stuff in orbit. And I, I actually, did I redesign it? I think I might have already redesigned the the plane. I can't remember if I've shown that to you or not. But uh, so it should be able to um, deorbit on its own now without needing the uh, 
the interplanetary stage to deorbit it, and then which of course deorbits the, deep, the interplanetary stage as well. Of course, one of the other options is to deorbit, um, have a, a mechjub piece, or in point one eight, there's also um, unmanned command pod uh, pieces, small pieces, uh, have them left over. So again, it's essentially almost like undocking in, in point one eight, coming in for a landing. Boeing forgot to take note of the time. Um, I guess that was a few minutes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just love that. Okay, there is a problem here. I do really need to get on the ladder. Oh no, I can just fly up, right. Uh, I was just thinking, man, I can't jump up onto there because, <laughs> because of course, uh, I would just jump up 160 meters instead of getting here. Uh, what was I just talking about? Um, keep going up, up, up. There we are. Bob Fred, back on board. I uh, kind of forget what I was talking about. Anyway, uh, Oh yeah, undocking, undocking the uh, interplanetary stage, and then deorbit the plane or whatever you're trying to do, and then you could reorbit the the, uh, the interplanetary stage. That's an option. That's not a very efficient option, of course. Then you're losing fuel uh, on that. But um, anyway, those are some of my plans. Uh, does anyone else have any other suggestions for things, fun things to do in point one eight? Um, until point one eight, I'm now essentially going to start focusing on planning for it. So I, I'm going to start kind of designing and coming up with an idea for my low carbon orbit space station. That's going to be my refueling stop for interplanetary missions. So I'm going to start trying to design and launch uh, some... They're, I'm hoping they're going to be rather large. Like the idea is, is with uh, the Scalzi system, remember, I got something like 120 tons into orbit. Uh, and I can't remember what my latest is it the Clark system? Uh, let me just... Do I have one of them flying around? Just leave you on, Gilly. I can't remember what I get to orbit with them. Um, is it the Clark 3? Okay. Anyway, we'd have to go back and check the video to see what I... Um, oh no, I did it without uh, MechJab too, so I don't actually know the official tonnage. So maybe I'll check out MechJab on. I think I like the... I, I think the Clark launch system is much uh, more improved and better. I have to actually pick something here or else I'm going to uh, crash. Um, the Clark launcher system is much better than the Scalzi launcher system was. I, you know, I'd come a long way, I guess, in designing and, and you know, learning a little bit even more during that time. And uh, so what I think I'll do is I'll strip the top uh, interplanetary stages of the Clark off and put my uh, my new ideas for the uh, low carbon orbit space station up on it and I'll launch that and we'll see how that goes. Uh, and yeah, so any other suggestions of things I could be doing to prepare for point one eight or uh, fun ideas of things to do once point one eight comes out, uh, let me know in the comments and uh, yeah, I'm gonna I think I'll just leave this uh, Bob for here for now. Maybe this will be the start of my ghillie base. I don't know. It's not a very... It's a, it's a bit hilly, maybe, of a spot to <laughs> to leave him. Maybe I'll fly him down into the, the valley proper uh, at some point, too. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. My name is Martin. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, thanks very much for watching. See you soon.